Welcome back guys to a brand new video. Today we are carrying on our series of inside the charity shops and if you haven't seen this I already have two videos out where we go and visit individual charity shops here in the UK and today is no different. We are carrying it on and today we're heading to the lovely Bernardo's. Now there are actually two Bernardo's near me. I don't know. No I think there might be three. Yes three. Um, I think today we might make it to two but yes I'm very excited to go to Bernardo's because I just feel like this one is it's it's not promoted enough but there's definitely a lot of them in the UK I feel like Oxfam does a better job at marketing but Bernardo's um is still there and it's still on a lot of our high streets so um yes I'm excited to take you guys I don't really know if there's anything unique about a Bernardo's store I feel like with the Oxfam everything is like color coordinated actually yes it is. I think everything in the Bernardo's might be colour coordinated. Maybe I'm getting confused. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Um, but yes, we're going to go in, have a browse and see what goodies we can find today. Okay guys, here we are heading into Bernardo's. Straight off, you can already see how much lovely, amazing stock is in this shop. I love how they have a mixture of like rails and then shelves to display stuff on. It's really nice to have like that variation and have things hung up on the wall as well. So yeah, I really do appreciate that side of it. Um, I started off by looking at this little shelf section. So many cute little bits for Mother's Day as well. Cute little bears. And then I went over to this little first rack of clothing. So I think everything is colour coordinated. And then in the centre of the shop, there's like a mixture of stuff. So I started off obviously in the green section. This jacket was so good from Pull and Bear. And I would have got it, but I just have too many jackets at the moment. <music> so many lovely cardigans and everything was around about three pound four pound mark i think the most expensive item that i seen was eight pound so yeah nothing was too overpriced then this top was actually from cos and i love cos as a brand so to find anything in the charity shop from cos was a real great find <music> So onto mustard, lots of mustard and yellow on this rail as well. I think everything being colour coordinated is actually super helpful because if you have a favourite colour that you like to wear, then you can just go to that section and have a look at the items there. Like I love to wear blue, dark blue as well. So I definitely spent a lot of time in the blue section. Now I'm looking at the dresses. How many dresses is there to choose from in this shop? If you know me, you know how much I love a good dress. So for me, this was like a dream come true. I literally spent a good 30 minutes going through every single dress in this shop. Obviously, I didn't film all of that, but I did show you most of it. But yeah, everything is actually in order of size, which I think makes life so much easier as well. So you've got size 8, 10 and 12 on this side. And on the other side, there was also the rest of the other sizes as well. So yeah, lots of dresses to look at, lots of like formal dresses and floral dresses as well. This dress was so cute, perfect for the summer. I think it was originally from H&M, but I love the little tie shoulders. Um, I thought that was super flattering, very lightweight as well. And then I loved the color of this dress. I actually should have got this, like the yellow, the pop of yellow, but actually, yeah, I think it was a jumpsuit in the end. That's why I put it back. But otherwise I definitely would have picked that up because um, I just love the color of yellow, that pop of color. <music> This purple floral dress I thought was super pretty. It was proper lightweight, which was nice and actually would have been really nice for like a wedding. I'm going to two weddings in the spring and I thought that this would be really cute, but I think it was a bit too big for me in the end, unfortunately. <music> Thank you. 
Okay, and then I found this brown kind of polka dot dress, little mini dress, which I loved, but I don't actually think that these dresses are that flattering on me. Someone with like a bit of a bigger chest, these thin straps don't work the best, but I kept picking it up and putting it down because I just couldn't decide whether to get it or not. <laughs> Okay, then having a look at the blue section, of course, lots of lovely blue puffy blouses and jumpers and cardigans, so much to choose from and have a look at. Okay, then I moved over to this shelf section and they had lots of lovely jewellery. As you can see, this box, everything was 50p, lots of bangles. I definitely think vintage jewellery is making a comeback. So if you can get your hands on any kind of like big statement vintage pieces, I definitely would pick them up. I loved all the bracelets in here. They were all so funky. Everything was like a pound, 50p, pound fifty. So lots of bargains to be had. <music> Okay, then I turned behind me and I started looking at the skirt and I just loved how every kind of set I just loved how every section in this shop was so organized especially like on top as well you have more shoes on top of the rack so there's just so much to constantly be looking at but yeah these were lots of lovely pants and skirts I love these velvet pants unfortunately they were just a bit too big but they were so soft and cute then I made my way around to the grey section, of course. I do like a bit of grey. I think basic colours always work well in your wardrobe. Then I found this amazing glitter top. How fabulous is this? So sparkly. And then this one from Topshop as well was in perfect condition. It was only like $3.50, an absolute bargain. This would be so nice on a night out. And then I went back to more skirts, more trousers. <laughs> I loved this black denim skirt and I actually think the buttons all the way down it were actually super flattering but it did look quite tight on the hips so I did leave it behind for that reason. <laughs> Okay, now looking at the shoes, as I mentioned, I'm going to a wedding and I do have black heels, but I don't have any like beige or grey or colourful heels, so I'm definitely on the hunt for some of them. <laughs> turned my attention to the lovely displays at the front of the shop like I said there were so many great ones to look at and you actually have to spend the time looking at each item on the display rather than just walking past it because the lovely staff in the shop have taken the time to actually you know display these items and make them more appealing to the customer's eyes and I think it really does help it makes a massive difference so yeah there was a lot to pick from I absolutely adored this clear bag it was so heavy kind of wish I would have got it I thought it was really cool um, especially for like a wedding that would have been really good but yeah, and then they had this amazing like summer, you know, wooden made bag. So cool for the summertime. <laughs> Okay, then they had lots of vinyls. They did definitely have some home decor in here as well, but most of the shop was clothing, which I personally loved and thought was much better. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, then I did have a browse, a quick browse in the men's section. I couldn't really see much that I wanted, but they definitely have a lot of t-shirts, a lot of oversized blazers. I found a lot of my own blazers in the men's section, so it's always worth having a look. And again, everything was £3, £2, so super cheap. <laughs> Okay, then I found this rail and it was like everything was half price, I think, which is so great to see. Again, it just kind of like up levels the shop a bit more because there's loads of different sections that you can look in. This leather jacket was an absolute bargain. It was four pounds. How cheap is that? back guys to the haul part of this video today's trip was very successful and i actually had a lot of fun in this shop so this bernardo's was actually one out of the three that i originally had in mind to share with you so the day that i was filming i went to film the other two and both of them were closed so i finally found this one and honestly i'm so happy that they were closed because this one i truly don't go to enough this shop this bernardo's in particular is so good they have so many good items they have so much stock they have it all organized the lovely woman who is probably the manager in there i didn't catch her name but i basically asked her if i could film in the shop and she was so happy for me to do so so yes i can't recommend checking this charity shop out enough it's on a road called smith down here in liverpool so if you just type in bernardo's smith down road then it should come up on google for you guys now it's time to have a look at the items that i picked up okay as always always i have my north face tote bag which i always use for thrifting um and we're just gonna get stuck into it the first item a little bit of a backstory is i am going on a hen do very exciting my first ever hen do i think and the theme is kind of like studio 54 glitz and glam so i just saw this and i thought that might work it might not work but i definitely would wear it for a different occasion but yes it's this very jazzy look at that guys oh my god it moves so nicely it's a very lightweight glittery silver top it's almost like a little crop top i did actually see one of these in another bernardo's not that long ago and i didn't pick it up so when i saw this one i was like i can't do the same thing i can't let it go again i just thought like with some high-waisted pants it might be quite cute and yeah i haven't tried it on yet so i'm intrigued to see what it looks like on definitely will have to get like a a low a high cut bra or something so the bra isn't sticking out it's originally from h&m it's originally meant to be 14.99 and i got it for seven pounds so a bargain it's not my usual style i won't lie but i just thought for like something that is glitz and glam this will come in so handy maybe i can get like a skirt to go with it as well something just fun exciting and yeah i'm trying to be more brave this year and get my arms out because i don't usually get them out so this definitely ties into that okay next up i picked myself up some earrings right now at the moment i'm really into kind of big gold statement earrings and i've been on the hunt for kind of like a thick pair almost and these aren't quite hitting the thickness that i liked but i saw them and i couldn't leave them behind so they look like this guys how cool and vintage are these i'm obsessed with like the three layered detail and the little twist very very cute and they were only two pounds so an absolute bargain now they are clip-ons and uh, which i wasn't sure about at the f at the beginning but then i just thought they're just so pretty like i just can't leave them behind they were only two pound and i do have my ears pierced but i wonder like what these feel like or if they are gonna like stay on oh oh yeah okay oh oh yes oh yes okay we like we like we like definitely feels very weird wearing clip-ons like i feel like they're gonna fall off any minute but they do feel secure especially this one so i'm very happy with them 
only two pounds a really good bargain and actually if you go into this shop on the main till they have this like box of all these earrings and i was just having a route through and that's where i found these so definitely keep your eyes peeled in every child shop especially in the bernardos look down at the little things look at all the little displays before we move in to our final item i have to give a little bit of a shout out to the lovely woman who managed the shop Again, don't think I got her name, but there are so many lovely little displays in this shop and it just makes shopping and charity shops all that more fun. When somebody takes the time and energy to actually display the items in a nice way, I think it really do is beneficial and um, we can just, as shoppers, we can see things a lot more clearly. So thank you to the lovely staff who worked in this Bernardo because honestly, it's one of the best ones I've ever been into. Okay, next up is something that I unfortunately didn't get from Bernardo's, but it is a charity shop item that I picked up a couple of weeks ago and I don't really have anywhere else to share it with you guys. So I thought I'd just fit it in here nicely. And this is from Oxfam. Yeah, I found this incredible black dress. It doesn't look like much now, but um, on it looks so good. So yeah, it's just this long A-line black dress. I love this little cut at the top first off. Look how cute that is. These little short high straps are super flattering. Love the square neckline and then the little scoops on the edge. Now at first I wasn't sure if it was going to be flattering on me or not because it's quite high. I didn't know whether it would like, I don't know, just like a bit like big on my arms and my chest but actually i've tried it on and i'm really happy happy with how it looks so yes it is super long it's like definitely a maxi dress but because it's like a line and it's quite like it's not body comp but it's quite like a slim fit it doesn't look too i don't know like formal or gown like you can definitely wear it in the spring with a nice little red sandal a brown brown sandal or some trainers and um, it would be nice for any occasion really but i can just imagine it wearing it in the spring in the summer with some nice sandals no jacket maybe these type of earrings i think that that would be really cute it's something that i didn't know i needed in my wardrobe but now i have it i'm so happy that i do so it's a size 10 it is only 6.99 and it's originally from a brand called more and more women never heard of that brand might have to give it a google interesting but yes here it is I'm very very excited about that one so guys that was everything that i picked up from bernardo's and also the little oxfam edition i hope you guys enjoyed this video i honestly had so much fun filming in this bernardo's shop definitely check it out if you're coming to liverpool anytime soon and yes thank you for watching as always i love you guys lots and i will see you next week for two new videos bye <laughs>